Hi, I'm Val Rousseau from Xavier University of Louisiana. In this video, I'll share a thought experiment I created called Einstein's Cat, designed to clear up a common misconception about special relativity. The idea that time dilation only affects light-based clocks. To challenge that idea, I introduce a fictional device, the Syncodi clock. It consists of a laser, a mirror, a detector, and a mechanical stopwatch. When the stopwatch is started, it triggers a light pulse and starts counting to 30 seconds. If the light pulse returns to the detector when the stopwatch reaches 30 seconds, nothing happens. But if the two clocks disagree, even slightly, a poison mechanism is triggered and poor Tiger, Einstein's cat, doesn't make it. From Einstein's point of view, who is at rest relative to the device, the light goes up and down in 30 seconds. The stopwatch also takes 30 seconds in that time, so everything is perfectly synchronized. The X or logic gate sees no mismatch and the poison is not released. Tiger survives. But now imagine Schrodinger watching the same device move past him at constant speed. In his frame, the light follows a longer diagonal path. It takes 40 seconds to complete the round trip. Meanwhile, the stopwatch is programmed to send a killing signal at 30 seconds. So, from Schrodinger's perspective, the signal is sent before the light pulse returns, meaning the clocks appear out of sync and Tiger dies. Here is the paradox. Einstein says Tiger survives. Schrodinger says he dies, but both observers must agree on physical outcomes, so who is right? This contradiction is resolved when Schrodinger realizes his mistake. He assumed that time dilation only affects the light pulse, not the stopwatch, but special relativity tells us that all clocks run slow when moving, whether they rely on light, gears or chemical reactions. Once Schrodinger accounts for the time dilation of the stopwatch, he sees that it actually takes 40 seconds in his frame for it to reach its internal 30 second mark. The stopwatch is running slow, just like the light clock. So the signal is sent exactly when the light pulse returns and the poison is not released. Both observers now agree, Tiger lives. This thought experiment shows, in a tangible and even dramatic way, that time dilation applies to all physical processes, not just like clocks. It's a response to common misconceptions found in papers and online forums that claim otherwise. Einstein's cat joins the long tradition of thought experiments used to teach relativity, from the twin paradox to Einstein's dream. I hope this scenario helps students and educators see more clearly why time dilation is a universal effect. Thank you for watching.